is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 bmw x5 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i'm in this one today because this is bmw's second best seller across its lineup here in the u.s right behind the bmw x3 you also get three years of complimentary maintenance as well which is going to save you a little bit of money there so that's pretty cool there's actually one major change for the 2022 bmw x5 and so in this video i will of course be going over that change as well as testing out acceleration braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different configurations for the 2022 x5 there is the s drive 40i starting at fifty nine thousand four hundred dollars x drive 40i for sixty one thousand seven hundred dollars m50i which actually is the one we have today starting at 82,800 and lastly the x5m starting at 105,900 dollars and there actually was one of those in the showroom so i was able to get some of those shots for you guys throughout this video as well but as you can imagine with all of those trim levels of course there are a few different engine configurations coming with the x5 first one is going to belong to those 40i trim levels that's going to be a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder putting out 335 horsepower 331 pound-feet of torque sent to rear wheels or all wheels that's actually the difference between s drive being the rear wheel drive configuration and x drive being the all-wheel drive configuration but power sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control that's pretty crazy i like that but anyway zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.3 seconds very impressive for that engine setup mpg numbers coming in at 21 the city 26 highway for the rear wheel drive 21 city 25 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is that next engine option belonging to the m50i that we have here today being a 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged v8 putting out 523 horsepower 553 pound-feet of torque sent to all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control once again zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 4.1 seconds you can guys know we're going to test that out a little bit here but mpg numbers coming in at 16 in the city 22 on the highway premium fuel yet again but then lastly there is the x5m that one actually powered by the same engine that we have today but bumping the numbers up to 600 horsepower 553 pound-feet of torque sent to all wheels through an eight-speed automatic like a been saying zero to 60 time 3.8 seconds top speed 177 miles per hour mpg numbers 13 in the city 18 then on the highway and so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our x5 did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually buttons located just to the left of the shifter they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity suspension settings all-wheel drive system engagement and the exhaust note actually as well and we're going to do that exhaust clip so hang around because you're going to want to hear that but anyways now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test i think they're going to be excellent they always have been a bmw let's just see how quickly they are going to react for us here down shifting second gear first gear let's kick it i love that sound oh my gosh they're dang quick i knew they were gonna be bmw always kills it with their paddle shifters it's instant freaking tanius it's wonderful like what i'm trying to say is it doesn't get much better than bmw's paddle shifters and i tested quite a lot of cars from audis to maseratis all that fun stuff so dang the sun is blinding me right now Arrgh. but yeah the paddle shifters are definitely quite good let's see if i get there we go anyways now that we've gotten that out of the way what do you guys say let's get back full control to the x5 here I actually put the shifter back into the left that gives you full manual shift mode for the paddle shifters but to give back that control to the x5 just slide the shifter back into the right basically and then x5 yet again has full control and let's put this thing to the test yet again and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right you guys we do have a slight uphill climb here but three two one oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man this thing is fun you know what the best part is it is uh 36 degrees out right now here in pennsylvania and there was no slippage 
whatsoever because we have the all-wheel drive configuration. That's the best part, you guys. Typically, you get that kind of power in rear-wheel drive sports cars, and in weather like this here in PA, you slip, you slide, you go off the road, you do crazy things, you drift. But with an all-wheel drive configuration, you're planted to the ground 100%, and there's none of that. It's instant acceleration. It's wonderful. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as you can imagine, four-wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard across the board. You actually get M Sport brakes with either blue or red calipers. If you were to go with the M50i that we have today, it's actually a $650 option for the 40i trim levels. And of course, you get that braking with the M as well. But overall, 60 to zero stopping distance comes in at approximately 119 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, it's excellent. Really, any 100 teens is going to be a perfect braking feel. And typically what happens is with SUVs, you usually get the 130s. So 119 feet is definitely sports sedan good is what I would actually compare it to. So it's kind of like the braking of a sports sedan. So definitely a big fan of that. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, lightweight multi-link integral rear suspension. Front and rear stabilizer bars, of course, as well. If you were to go with the M50 i or the m you will also get an adaptive m suspension meaning it monitors each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering really giving you the best of both worlds and that is definitely a suspension i always like to recommend regardless of what manufacturer that it's with because it really does make a substantial difference when you compare it to maybe a non-adaptive suspension so that is definitely a good thing and actually a two-level air suspension is available as an option across the board as well if you wanted to go that route but overall as far as ride quality goes it has been perfectly fine as i'm going over a massive speed bump right now but really ride quality is 100 on point probably due to the adaptive suspension so it's a wonderful ride here and i remember last year in the 2021 model year when i reviewed the x5 i didn't have the adaptive suspension and that ride quality was dang good as well so either route that you go the ride quality is going to be good it's just better with the adaptive suspension i'll say that anyways then touching on steering feel it is going to differ dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so when i put it in that sport driving mode it does make the steering feel a bit heavier instantly pointing you in the direction that you want to go that's the particular steering feel that i would leave it in but if you were to take it out of that let's say put it in eco pro mode it does loosen up that steering feel making it a little more loosey-goosey still not bad though the steering feel of bmw has always been very good so even in that eco pro mode it's still really good and to add to that the 10 and 2 grips on really any bmw m sport package or m50i or m they are thick they are definitely the thickest grips out there with any manufacturer right now so i love that it gives me a better feeling of being in control it's a better feel to my hands particularly i don't know if it's the same for everyone else but i love the grips on this thing definitely gives me a better feeling of being in control as far as cabin noise goes that's been 100 on point as well i actually have the air on i should probably turn that down but that's really the only noise i'm hearing right now that and the exhaust note which is amazing on this thing but cabin noise it's a very serene cabin so i'm definitely a fan of that touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back you're not going to have any issues there rain sensing windshield wipers actually come standard on every single trim level across the board as well and what that is is whenever the x5 detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so it's just one last thing you got to worry about kind of like automatic headlights and there is a head-up display that is available. I'm actually looking at it right now. What it gives you is the speed limit of any given road. It also gives you the speed that you are currently going and actually displays safety features up on your windshield then as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 BMW X5. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 BMW X5 finished in mineral white metallic. In case you were curious of our exterior color name, let me go ahead and start with what's new. That one major change for the 2022 X5, and that's going to be a new model called Black Vermilion model. It's going to be limited to 350 units in the US. So if you wanted a more exclusive X5, that's going to be the one that you're going to want to go with. And essentially what that adds is unique exterior styling cues. I'll put a picture of it on the screen here for you guys. Merino black leather with red stitching, a glass shift knob, suede headliner, 
leather colored dashboard, Harman Kardon sound system, just to name a few. And essentially, it does look like the perfect vehicle for a vampire. So if that's you, BMW has got you covered. But now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and start up front on the X5 here. Active kidney front grille with satin aluminum surrounds or gloss black surrounds, depending upon which configuration that you go with. Active kidney meeting those grille shutters will open and close depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. That's essentially what that means. Down to the corners there, you guys can see there's some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So a little better aerodynamics there. To the sides, as far as the headlight setup goes, you will find Icon Adaptive full LED headlights, meaning low beam and high beam, coming standard for all trims and configurations across the board. They do, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams also coming standard across the board. LED daytime running lights, as you guys are currently looking at right now. LED fog lights do come standard to some package options that eliminate them like we currently have here today. LED laser light technology coming with the X5M and it's available for the 40i and M50i trim levels as well. Essentially what that is, is the very brightest illumination allowed by law by BMW. So if you do a lot of night driving, that may be something you may want to consider, but also that unique front fascia that we have today, it's gonna to be specific to the M Sport package for the 40i trims. And it's also kind of come standard then on the M50i that we have and the X5M as well. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of the X5. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, satin aluminum or gloss black roof rails coming standard across the board, rear privacy glass coming standard as well and then once again satin aluminum or gloss black window surrounds again dependent upon the configuration that you go with functional air vents found on the front fenders i love that accent and i like that they're not fake as well they're they're actually functional they assist with aerodynamics there power adjustable side mirrors coming standard they will be heated as well with led integrated turn signals for all trim levels and they will actually be power folding as well that's a standard feature there a lot of times with other luxury manufacturers that's an option but with x5 that comes standard so i like that black side skirts is going to be the standard configuration for the 40i trims but there are body colored side skirts for the m50i of course the m as well and the m sport package for the 40i trim so that of course is what you're looking at right now and a much better look in my personal opinion i always like body colored side skirts but that's just me but anyways taking a look down at the wheel configuration 19 inch v-spoke out alloys coming standard 20 inch alloys for the m sport package and the m50i and the 21 inch alloys for the x5m and there are plenty of different optional wheel configurations if you wanted to go that route as well but that pretty much rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right and so now since we are around back body colored shark fin antenna located all the way to the top there just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper led tail lights you guys can see those on right now they look dang good coming standard for all trim levels across the board you of course do have some led license plate lighting you don't always get that i know it's a dumb feature to mention but usually you get halogen license plate lighting so i like that they're leds here on the x5 and just below it all you guys will find perhaps my very favorite exhaust configuration out there right now integrated into the rear bumper that's why it's my favorite but integrated dual exhaust outlets and you actually get quad tips with the x5m but otherwise they will be located within those dual exhaust outlets in a satin finish so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> you guys so now since we are around back of the x5 when it comes to opening that rear tailgate it actually is a hands-free power tailgate for every trim every configuration across the board so that is pretty darn cool if you have your hands full of groceries essentially it's going to automatically open up then for you but it's also a button on the key fob there's a button on the tailgate itself and there's a button on the driver's door then as well so quite a few different ways you can go ahead and open that and then actually there's actually upper and lower portion to that tailgate so the upper portion folds up the lower portion folds down so a little different configuration than a lot of other suvs out there so i wanted to mention that but 
As far as cargo capacity goes, there is actually a third row available. It's a $2,300 option. If you were to get that, there's 15 cubic feet behind that third row. Otherwise, behind the second row like we have today, 33.9 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, that is going to come in at 72.3 cubic feet then. And by the way, that is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold completely flat, which I personally love. I think that's pretty cool. But there is a rear cargo cover that comes standard back there. There are two two LED cargo lights. A lot of times you get halogen bulbs back there, so I like the LEDs in the cargo area. There is velour carpeting that comes standard. That's actually the first thing I always notice when I open up the X5. It's just such a nice feel to the cargo area. And I'm always just a big fan of that, but there's also grocery bag hooks back there. You have tie down anchors. And another interesting thing about the X5 is there is a spare tire located within the cargo floor, but to actually open up that cargo floor, it uses a hydraulic system, so you don't actually have to hold it up it automatically opens up for you just like the hood does so that's pretty cool i like that they put a hydraulic system back there it's the little things but anyways then making our way to the rear legroom 31.2 inches if you were to go with the third row which it might be actually good for a small child so that's not bad number for a third row legroom but as far as that second row legroom goes it comes in at 37.4 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders that come standard and within that rear center Center armrest there's actually kind of some space for a tablet possibly as well or a little bit of storage whatever you want to use it for rear ventilation does come standard there are rear window sunshades available for 250 dollars if you want to go that route four zone climate control coming with the executive and premium packages for the 40i trims and also standard on the m50i that we have today and the m of course as well rear heated seats then are going to be optional we do have them as well so you could spoil the rear passengers a little bit and if you were looking for the phone charging ports it's kind of interesting they're not located anywhere near the rear ventilation they're actually located on the back side of the front seat so little different placement than i'm used to personally and basically all the other suvs that i test so did want to mention that placement as well but so then now making our way to the front seat 16 way power adjustable front seats do come standard with four way power lumbar and two-way power side bolsters as well i love the side bolster adjustments one of my favorite parts about basically all bmws they always do that heated front seats coming standard sense attack upholstery coming standard leather seating is going to be optional on the 40i coming standard though on the m50i and the m 20-way multi-contour front seats coming with the m50i and the m also ventilated front seats coming with those two trims and the ventilated seats are optional then on the 40i. Massaging front seats, there's actually a luxury seating package that gives you those massaging front seats. It goes for around $1,600, but that's pretty cool if you're into that as well. But overall, because of all the adjustments that you can do with these seats, the seats are definitely plenty comfortable. No issues with taking a long road trip to Ocean City, Maryland. I really want to go. It's 37 degrees right now, so uh, it's a little cold for Ocean City right now. But anyways, taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable, leather wrapped coming standard, and you can get a heated steering wheel for an additional $250 if you wanted to go that route. Then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. Since we have the M50i, we do have those M Sport colors on the side, but essentially, all of your buttons are located on one side of the key being lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear tailgate. The lock button is going to be the BMW logo, in case you were not familiar with BMW keys, so that's pretty cool. But it's actually a remote start that is going to be available, and there is a digital key that comes standard. Now, we actually do have it in here, so I'm going to show that to you guys real quick. So essentially what that's for is if your key fob dies, you have the digital key, so you can still actually start this one up and all that without having to call a tow truck. So that's pretty cool. But a push button start does come standard across the board, so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and so once started up 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster it's an amazing digital gauge cluster it adjusts the colors depending upon which drive mode that you put it in if you put it in sport you're going to get a lot of red and black hues if you put it in eco pro you're going to get a lot of blue hues and then the comfort mode is going to give you some orange and in case you guys are wondering about the lines located in the middle it's kind of like a navigation kind of setup showing the street it's located within the middle portion of the digital gauges gives you your outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty all of the information you could possibly want up there so very nice digital gauge cluster here for the x5 then touching on overall interior quality there is a panoramic moonroof that comes standard every single configuration is going to get that so that's pretty cool 
But one of the cool things is it, there's an executive package. It gives you a Sky Lounge LED roof. So essentially it's like little LED lighting within the moonroof that is going to illuminate at night and it's going to make it look so stinking cool. So I'm putting a picture on the screen there for you guys. But anthracite headliner does come standard and that's what we have today. LED interior lighting also coming standard. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found at the bottom portion of that rear view mirror there. Multicolor ambient lighting, one of my favorite features in BMW. They definitely do ambient lighting very well. Glass controls can be had with the executive package, although we don't have it today, so I can't show it to you guys. But overall, when it comes to interior quality, BMW always kills it. For example, if you look above the passenger side glove box, you not only have authentic carbon fiber, I very rarely can say that. There's so many vehicles that use plastic that looks like carbon fiber, but this actually is authentic. You have the ambient lighting, you have the contrast stitching just above that as well. Tons of soft touch material. The armrests for my elbows were very comfortable as well. So overall, interior quality is amazing. Just in front of the shifter, you have a 12 volt power outlet, USB charging port, dual cup holders, and a little bit of storage. And of course, a wireless phone charger charger as well. You do have an electromechanical parking brake just behind the shifter surrounded by carbon fiber and ambient lighting. Once again, BMW killing it with that. And within the center armrest, you actually have a phone charging port and a decent amount of storage there. But overall, like I said, interior quality is definitely very, very nice. Then taking a look at the infotainment screen, of course, you have a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display to match the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. It makes sense, right? But it is a touchscreen. Like I said, it is also voice activated. There is a circular dial and buttons to the right of the shifter. You can control it and gesture control my very favorite part so watch this you guys i'm going to go ahead and turn off the radio simply by making my finger in a clockwise rotation here Number 12. yep Name. and it's loud and now i can turn it down actually i like this song hang on yeah, it was Goo Goo Dolls. But anyways, we'll get to the sound system check here in a little bit. But Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay also standard. Factory navigation system, you guys, coming standard for every single trim, every configuration. You got to love that. One of my favorite parts, though, is something called experience modes. So if you hit experience modes, you're going to get to choose from executive, expressive, and well-being. And essentially, adjust everything. It adjusts the ambient lighting. It opens and closes the power moonroof. It adjusts literally everything about this. So I'm definitely always a big fan. I love playing around with the experience modes and it really does change the experience here in the X5. But anyways, you can adjust your ambient lighting like I've been saying up on the infotainment screen as well, along with your radio information. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems here in the X5, you will get a 10 speaker hi-fi sound system that comes standard with 205 watts. Then there is a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that's going to come standard on the M50i and the M. It's going to be optional, I believe, with the premium and executive packages for the 40i. So having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio here. Let's see what we got playing and let's test out the sound system on this one. Goo Goo Dolls is so freaking good. I miss listening to them. They're really good band but anyways that sound system was amazing quite honestly maybe it was a little bit of me digging the song but also the sound system plenty of bass clarity was 100 percent on point as you would expect with that many speakers but brilliant sound system here for the x5 last thing i want to mention to you guys on that screen is when you do put the x5 of course in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board but not only that you do get a surround view monitor or 360 degree camera that is optional that's available that's what we're looking at right now so that is always is going to lead us into safety and so front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back you're going to get latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard for all trim levels being a frontal collision warning system active blind spot detection lane departure warning speed limit recognition and front and rear parking sensors as well there is also a parking assistance package that goes for eight hundred dollars and there's also a driving assistance professional package going for seventeen hundred dollars but anyways when it comes to my final thoughts here of the x5 every single engine configuration in this thing is extremely quick it's not just the m50 that we tested today which is amazing it's not just the m but even the 40i that I tested last year, it's insanely quick. Zero to 60, I think, is maybe 6.3 seconds, if I remember 
correctly. It's an insanely quick SUV, especially for the size of this thing. So whichever configuration that you go with, you got the power without a doubt. Great ride quality on this thing. You get three years of complimentary maintenance. It is a brilliant interior quality. When you factor in the authentic carbon fiber, the contrast stitching and the ambient lighting, it really is done very nicely on the interior. Third row is definitely something I don't think I would probably go with with this one because it wouldn't be the best third row legroom. So you're probably better off just sticking with two rows. And really the only constructive criticism I can think of is this can get kind of expensive with all of the options that they allow you to get. So having said that, this particular X5 is specced right at around $90,000 in case anybody was curious. But let me know what you guys think of the X5 in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. I'm going to listen to Google all some more. <laughs>